Hey guys, happy quarantine. I bet you guys are super bored like I am, but I am using my creative tools to stay busy. But this is Carrie, and this is my first video of 2020. And I just wanna share a couple ideas of things that I'm doing to stay busy. As all you guys know, I love gardening. So I'm gonna be showing you a couple things today. And if you can just take away maybe one thing, that would just be great. I'm probably gonna show you three or four things, but no worries, you don't need to do all of them. Feel free to check back at this video maybe in three or four weeks and go on to the next project, or just pick one or two right now that you think would be beneficial to you. So I'm gonna show you a little bit around my garden. So today is April 4th, but the last frost is normally April 15th, but I'm pretty certain the last frost is over. So I have some cool crops and I have some fall crops. So here, right here in my raised bed, that my awesome boyfriend made me. We're going to take a look at mostly my cool crops. So here you're going to see some cabbage and cauliflower. And then here's some beet, some peas that I have trellised on these sticks so that they go upward. Right here are going to be radishes, lettuce, spinach, lettuce from my garden inside. And then these are going to be beets. And then I planted some laver and then some lupine. One of the things I like to do is label everything because when things come up, I like to know what I'm looking forward to getting soon. So there are different ways to label, which I'm gonna show you now. So one way to label is bamboo plant tags. You can get this for $15 on Amazon. My mom got it to me, got me it for Valentine's Day. And you can just label cucumbers or cantaloupe and stick it in the ground. As most of you guys know, I am a gardener. This year I haven't been able to get to my studio for quite some time because of the quarantine. But here are some of my labels from the last couple years. So if you look at them, you're gonna see mint, carrot, rosemary, lettuce, tomatoes. And if we walk around over here, here's lettuce and here's spinach. So when I'm out here in the morning drinking my coffee, I know what I'm looking at. Also, um, throughout my pottery, I've also made little mushrooms that are pretty cute. You could probably do this with some oven baked clay and bring it out here. And I've actually, actually made my famous hedgehog. For some reason, everybody really likes it, but I don't really know why. I think he looks more like a teddy bear. So another thing that I am working on is I really like let me show you over here. Um, making bricks and making them look into a book. So right here, this says Moby Dick, but I made this about two years ago. So it's a little worn out. So today and tomorrow, I'm going to clean them up and repaint them. So here I'm gonna write the title. Over there is gonna be Moby Dick. I might write Of Mice and Men or Beauty and the Beast and just kind of make it look like a book cover. I think I'm actually gonna put them in a row and put them out there and lastly are seeds walmart is still open on um, seeds you can get for let's look here are garden beans a dollar 96 and in most of these you're gonna get quite quite a few like it's gonna just keep coming out there's probably 200 beans in there and I right now you can do cold crops and you can do some warm crops. So the cold crops, the ending is normally around April 1st for planting season. But since we're only at April 4th, you probably are still in good shape to plant seeds of cabbage, cauliflower, peas, lettuce, spinach, green beans, radishes, and beets. And then since we're almost at the past frost date, which I think we are at, you can start planting some seeds of the summer crops, such as cantaloupe, melon, tomato, peppers. I'm trying to look out here and herbs over here. You can start planting some herbs. So hopefully I've given you some ideas on a couple projects to keep you guys busy during this quarantine and make sure you're staying inside and following these orders so we can get out. And if you are outside, make sure you're wearing a hat and your sunscreen and hopefully I'll have a video out for you guys soon. Thanks. Have a good one.